Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another tutorial today. We are going to be creating something like this. Um, it, it's just something really quick and easy to achieve and I'm going to be using a lot of the small stamps. It's about building layers up and I have really enjoyed doing these sort of half wreaths so let's make a start and first of all i'm going to use our mask pop that down in the center there and then with one of our pens it's a really light pen this is clean color some of my favorite pens at the moment um but it's a great guide for us to stamp over. Of course you can use a pencil as well if you wish, just something nice and light. So I've got my little block and I've got all my mini stamps right by me. I'm going to use the Golden Meadow. And I'm going to use this tiny branch stamp which I think is a great base. So follow that line, it's just a great guide to get you started. So the next one we're going to use is an oak leaf and this time we're going to stamp up in green. So this one's called Rainforest. So again we're just following that line. Try and balance it out the best that we can to the eye so it's a nice curve. And now we're going to move on to our little flower stamp. And I'm going to use the warm breeze for this one. Let me just pop a few of these about. It's such a pretty delicate stamp this, you can use it for all sorts of things. So now I'm going to ink up in our Nocturne and we're going to use our lovely set of bottles I want these to stand out, so this is why I'm inking up in the black. Give it a good press. It's a silhouette stamp, so it needs a little bit more time on the card so we can get that nice perfect image. another one next to it and then a final one on the other side So I'm, I'm thinking we need a little bit of colour, so I've got my little berries here and I'm going to ink up in the Glamorous. This is quite a pink red, but you can also use any other colour you like. I think the pink red is quite a nice, it's, um, it's a warm red.
just a few and then we've got our little bird that I'm going to sit on top of the bottle a bit like they used to when I was little they used to peck away at the the foil at the top for the cream out the milk okay, just to put a little bit of a spin on things I'm just going to hang a couple of lanterns next to it. I'm just going to ink up halfway and then lastly I'm taking our stencil so I'm going to ink up in the lime punch. And just go over the top of that. You're not going to affect anything that you've done underneath because it's a nice light colour. And now I've got the blue at all. And a smaller stencil brush. And this time make sure you take plenty off. Because we're just going to come in with a little Now you need to be a little bit more careful where you put this second colour. You don't want this going over the top of everything. So just work your way around the image that you've done. And it gives it quite a nice effect having that two tone. Let's have a look. There you go. It looks quite pretty with that those two colours going on there. Lastly, I'm going to just pop a word down on the top and I'm going to use the twilight. And there it is. So a really nice quick way of creating a card grab the other one so you can see the difference no two will ever come out the same of course but it's a it's a similar technique so you can apply this in several different colors depending on what you prefer okay guys thanks so much for joining me again today and um, hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves you take care bye for now